Hello everyone, this video I will show you how to install Raspberry Pi operation system on KCH68 server. So you can see here are some steps that will let this server board and run a computer. Actually this is just a Raspberry Pi computer. So let's look at the hardware first. You can see here is the interface, a main interface that I have already used uh, DC 12 volt power supply and this time because we will running the server running as a computer uh, that uh, work for Raspberry Pi OS so we will use this power and for this power supply and later we will use this Wi-Fi antenna so we will use this Wi-Fi antenna at last and we will uh, download the freeware firstly and here we can see some hardware resource interface and the network uh, this is for Raspberry Pi network and this is for USB and this is type C this type C is download freeware and this time we will use this HDMI that connect with the monitor and just this this interface and the 12 volt we will running for the Raspberry Pi so that we can use this PC868 server and connect with this keyboard and with this mouse so uh, you can see actually uh, this is a computer uh, just the computer and the keyboard and the mouse so let's look at how to install the freeware firstly the first step we need to set the jump here is jump and you can see and the left is off the right is on so if you want to Download the firmware, make sure the jump is at the right. And when running and start up for the OS, that change the jump to the left. So this time we set to the right. And now you can connect with this USB cable and with this part. And here we can do the step one and the step two. Now we can do step three. You can see here is the 12 volt and uh, we just power on okay I can see the power LED is on and the sound is from the Windows operation system and also if you have the Mac Apple Mac you can also run in this step and the next step we need to run in the RPI port uh, this is the Raspberry Pi USB driver so I have installed before and before video have introduced it RPI port just click this one and you will see this window okay uh, you can see I found a port that is a disk you just click cancel and now you can download and install the Raspberry Pi image so that you can open this website that is Raspberry Pi official website and just find out click this software and the first step you need to download the Raspberry Pi image just these tools so here you can download my computer is Windows if you use for Mac Mac OS you just click this one and I can click this one and download and click and uh, we'll begin to install this tool and uh, install and uh, running this Raspberry Pi image right now okay this is the tool and we can see here the next step we need to download and install and now you can manually install an operation system image so if you can choose this OS, uh, you can install online. You can see here are many, many results. You can just click, but also you can download with the customer. This is from your computer. And I have already downloaded because this you can see all download options. Here we can see the Raspberry Pi uh, 64 bit. And we use this CM4. The CM4 model in the KS868 server. So I have downloaded this this version. That is the nearest. And I have downloaded and in my computer. 
So this time I just can choose my computer and the freeware. Here is I have download. We just click open and choose storage and choose that is detect uh, by this EMMC on the Raspberry Pi. We can click this one and click right and yes okay now we'll begin to download the freeware okay now you can see this is complete and this have been right to the raspberry pi and we can click continue and just close the program and now you can let this power off and remove this usb cable and now we can change the jump. We can change this jump and to the left. Just like this. And now we will get ready for the keyboard and the mouse and connect with the PC monitor. Okay, now we will begin to connect the server uh, with this hardware. Uh, like this keyboard and the mouse and the Wi-Fi antenna and the network cable and the HDMI so you just think this is a computer so we can see here I use this HDMI cable connect to this port and this have connect with my monitor and this HDMI and this is network cable you can connect with this Ethernet port. Actually, you can use Wi-Fi. So we can use this Wi-Fi antenna and uh, connect to this port. And this is antenna is for ESP32 Wi-Fi module. And this is for RF433 MHz module. And this also have work for the Wi-Fi and for the Kinkuni system module. And I have used this keyboard and this mouse by this uh, Bluetooth adapt. You can connect this Bluetooth keyboard and mouse adapt uh, connect with any USB port. Actually, you can use a wired uh, keyboard and a wired mouse. I have used the Bluetooth. So you can see here I have connected all together. HDMI, uh, Bluetooth for keyboard and mouse and Ethernet cable. And now, just at last, I will connect with the 12 volt. So at last, I just connect with the cable. And you can see uh, the LED is on. Here is for Raspberry Pi, LED indicate. And now you can see here is a stream that is for Raspberry Pi. Now I can use the mouse and the keyboard. Okay, this is the West Raspberry Pi window. We can click the next. And this you can choose country and language and the time zone. You can click next. And the create the username and the password. The username we can input in Kony and the password we can input one two three four five six one two three four five six and click next and click next and now we will search for the network by the Wi-Fi and you can see here the signal the this is Wi-Fi signal. I can skip because I have used the Ethernet. I can click skip. I can click skip. If you want to update software, you can click next. I can click skip just to uh, you save the time. And now it's set up complete, very easy. And you can click restart. Now the system will be report. Okay, this is the desktop of Raspberry Pi operation system. Now you can see here the Raspberry Pi menu. 
And also you can see here is the sound software you can use. And this internet web browser. And here you can see the Bluetooth and the network. This is Ethernet. And also we can turn on and turn off the Wi-Fi. And we can see I can click this Ethernet internet web browser. And I can input pinconi.com. So now you can see our website running on the Raspberry Pi. And also if you can build the YouTube So here you can see the YouTube channel and you can see the YouTube video on the web browser. So this is the web browser of Raspberry Pi and here are some many different applications you can use. So this is running on the PC monitor and now we can ready to connect with server and to the TV and for a demo. Okay, now you can see I have let this KC868 server have connected with my Sony TV by the HDMI. So let's look at how it works. Here you can see this box. This is 12 volt, and this is network cable and this is HDMI. So this is HDMI is to TV and this is net network cable for the Ethernet and for the Internet. So this is very easy. And also this is the Bluetooth I dropped. So let's look at how it works. Okay, let's test. You can see I can open this web bar. That is Raspberry Pi system help include. Just this one. And if you input a URL, then you can see the web page. Here is the communication with the internet. And you can see uh, this is the website on the TV. And also you can uh, uh, use the video. We can visit YouTube. And now you can see the YouTube video. And you can change the volume. And also you can use my TV a remote to change the audio. I will have a camera file. So if I change this one, the volume of the audio. YouTube video on the Raspberry Pi and the server bar. So this is for video and you can also install many applications on the Raspberry Pi operating system so you can download from the internet. This is the server, case it's 6 8 server and running the Raspberry Pi OS so that you hope you will enjoy it. Okay, thanks for watching.